Hello and welcome to the Metropolitan State University podcast, brought to you by the Marketing and Communications Department. My name is Jake Nadeau, and I'll be your host for this episode. Today, we will be talking to Faisal Kaleem, a professor from the Department of Computer Science and Security, about the importance of cybersecurity for businesses, universities, and students. Thanks for listening. Hello, Faisal. How are you doing today? I am great. How are you? I'm doing pretty good. So why don't you tell us a little about yourself and your role here at Metro State? All right. So uh, as you know, my name is Faisal Kaleem. Um, I am a professor in the Department of Computer Science and Cybersecurity at Metropolitan State University. I am also the executive director for the Min Cyber Institute. And we will talk about Min Cyber Institute you know, later on. My background... I have a doctorate in uh, electrical engineering. I moved to uh, Minnesota in 2013 from Miami, Florida, after spending almost 17 years uh, uh, in Miami with uh, a university by the name Florida International University, where I was a instructor and a visiting assistant professor. Uh, so I have been in academia since 1998. So you can think it's almost like 20 years of uh, service in uh, academia. Uh, I recently got promoted to the professor, full professor in the Department of Computer Science and Cybersecurity. Uh, I'm also a senior fellow and faculty member at the Leadership Institute at the University of Minnesota, and I teach in their graduate program there as well. Yeah, I've been teaching as long as I've been alive. So. <laughs> yeah. And I want to start off with a, a basic question that what is cybersecurity? Okay, so first of all, I'm going to give you uh, the definition that we, uh, the faculty member, uh, kind of like agreed upon. And then I'm going to give you a simple definition. Sounds good. Okay, so the when we talk about cybersecurity, cybersecurity is a computing-based discipline involving technology, people, information, and processes to enable assured operations in the context of adversaries. It involves the creation, operation, analysis, and testing of secure computer systems. It is an interdisciplinary course of study, including aspects of law, policy, human factors, ethics, and risk management. So you can see from this definition that cybersecurity involves a lot of stuff, okay? A lot of sectors, a lot of uh, disciplines, and so on. But again, in short, uh, if I want to just tell my uh, student about what is cybersecurity, cybersecurity refers to a set of techniques used to protect the integrity of the networks, programs, data from attacks, damage, or unauthorized access. So it's, simple, it's simply about protecting individuals and organizations from adversaries. So it sounds fairly complicated. And so I want to ask, why did you get into cybersecurity? Yeah, you're right. It sounds, it, it sounds complicated and it is complicated because it's not an easy thing to accomplish not just from the technological perspective, but also from the perspective of management, because it's not easy to convince the management about, you know, hey, you know what, cybersecurity is something very important. Please invest into it. All right, going back to your question, my background is electrical engineering. As I said that, you know, I had a doctorate uh, in electrical engineering and I've been involved with uh, engineering and uh, related topics like programming for so long. As a matter of fact, I've always been in very, very interested in programming, wrote something called a TSR program in C programming language. TSR stands for Terminate, Stay and Resident. And that was one of those initial forms of malware or viruses that you know I wrote long, long time uh, ago. Um, as I said, although my background is electrical engineering, but I have been programming in C programming language for a while, and then I also have been writing scripts and so on. Um, I got fascinated about cybersecurity because of the Y2K event. If you remember Y2K. Uh, and really got interested in cyber uh, uh, security at that time. 
And then later on, like around 2004, I was asked to develop and offer the first graduate course in cybersecurity. And that was it. As soon as I developed and taught the course, I fell in love with cybersecurity. And I said, you know what? I don't think that I am going to be doing any more engineering, although cybersecurity involves some aspect of engineering as well. But then I decided to kind of like, you know, keep myself busy with the cybersecurity uh, course development, teaching, and research. Nice. And so cybersecurity protects from cyber attacks. And what are some of the specific dangers of the attacks and the reasons that you should have cybersecurity for a university or a business? So f the first thing everybody has to understand is that cybersecurity is not a technology issue anymore. It is a business issue as the lack of cybersecurity can simply cripple the organization. Cyber attacks can cost large organization millions annually and completely devastate small or mid-sized you know, businesses. Businesses of all sizes across all industries need cyber defense. Small and mid-sized companies are also target targets of cyber threats. The cybersecurity programs of most U.S. organizations do not rival the persistence, tactical skills, and technological prowess of their potential cyber adversaries. It's more vital than ever for organizations to heavily invest in cybersecurity programs necessary to defend against potential attacks on sensitive information and critical infrastructure. And this is why I believe that not just the industry, but every sector of life, individuals or, or students or faculty member, they need to understand the basics of cybersecurity. They need to understand how to protect themselves from these adversaries. And so it seems like it's, it's kind of a, a new career. And so I want to ask, what does the, the job outlook look like, if, if you know? Sure. So according to Forbes, the global cybersecurity market is expected to reach $170 billion by 2020. And this rapid market growth is being fueled by an array of technology trends. I mean, you heard about IoT, okay? You heard about uh, the rapid ad adoption of cloud-based application. Uh, and then these uh, stringent data protection mandates, such as the European Union General Data Protection Regulation, what we call the GDPR, and then the NIST uh, cybersecurity framework, all of them basically, you know, kind of like fueling the cybersecurity industry. Uh, HR professionals and recruiters have never faced a more immediate need for a greater pipeline of cybersecurity professional. This is one area where I believe the rules of the recession seem flipped. There are plenty of available jobs, but relatively few qualified people. As per a website, which I always refer to my student by the name cyberseek.org, uh, there are almost more than 5,000 cybersecurity job openings just in the state of Minnesota. And approximately 285,000 plus jobs nationwide. So this industry is booming. And it's basically something like, you know, uh, an industry which is, I don't think is ever going to go away. Why? Because the adversaries, they will always go after good people, the good people will always try to defend themselves with the adversaries. Mm -hmm. So this ping pong game will never going to be stopped. Mm -hmm. And so I want to ask that um, you mentioned it's not a, a technology issue. It's, it's, it, it involves almost everyone now. And more specifically, I want to ask about Metro State students and, and why they should care about cybersecurity. Great question. So the most exciting thing about cybersecurity is that this field probably will never ever see its demise. The battle between the good and bad guys will never stop. No company, no matter the size or industry, is or will ever be immune to a cyber breach. We all know technology only goes so far. It is always the skilled workers who make the difference in protecting the sensitive information. As an educator, my goal is to help cultivate a highly skilled cybersecurity workforce capable of responding to the new and dynamic risks, threats, and vulnerabilities that our nation faces. I always tell my student that cybersecurity equals job security. This is the best time to join the Department of Computer Science and Cybersecurity 
and obtain his skills in cybersecurity and forensics field while completing you know uh, your education i would love to see metro state becoming a flagship university in minnesota to accomplish this important goal also the cybersecurity field is full of opportunities and i'm not hesitant to say that this is one career where sky is the limit in addition working in the field of cybersecurity is very rewarding because it's critical to our nation's vitality and security this opens up tremendous opportunities not only for myself as an as an ed educator but also for my students the department currently offers a minor in cybersecurity and is in the process of process of starting a bs in cybersecurity or a bachelor of science in cybersecurity in spring 2019 we also have plans to offer an masters in science in cybersecurity around year 2020 so again Heads up, everybody, you know, some good stuff is coming your way. So there's plenty of opportunities for, for students here at Metro State to get into cybersecurity. And I want to uh, mention that you are a recipient of the 2018 Visionary Leadership Award. How do you feel about this? Oh, man, uh, I really feel honored. But again, let me tell you this thing. I was nominated for this award by many colleagues of mine both from industry and academia. I was selected to be the recipient of this award from a pool of extremely qualified individuals statewide uh, who equally deserve to be the recipient of this award. So all I can say is I feel deeply honored and blessed to be the recipient of this award. By the way, uh, this award would not have been possible without the help and support of many individuals who trusted me and help me with my venture in cybersecurity. So thank you all for providing me the opportunity and for giving me this award. And lastly, I just wanna mention if a student's trying to get in contact with you, where can they, they find the information? So they can visit the uh, website, uh, the Metro State website. They can also email me, faisal.kaleem at metrostate.edu. They can also the website, the Min Cyber website, mncyber.org. Um, they can Google me. They can connect me on LinkedIn. They can uh, follow me on Twitter. There are tons of ways to connect with me. Sounds good. And I want to thank you again for coming on this show. Thank you very much for giving me this opportunity to uh, talk about myself and also about the cybersecurity program. Thank you very much. I'd like to thank Faisal Kaleem again for coming on this episode. If you have any more questions, head on over to metrostate.edu. Thanks again for listening.